Hi, welcome to today's video where we're going to evaluate this cubic root. If you want to try this one yourself, pause the video now and give it a go. OK, let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is set this equal to y so that I can cube it, then I don't have to worry about this nasty looking cube root sign for a while. OK, the first thing to notice is that 3, 9 and 81 are all on your 3 power table. So hopefully this isn't going to be too difficult. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert all the bases to 3. So on the top we have 3 to the power of 4. And that's all raised to the power of 7. Plus we have 3 to the 17 still. And on the bottom, we've got 3 squared to the power of 7, plus 3 to the 25. And since rule number 1 allows me to write a power raised to another power as those powers multiply together, I'm going to rewrite this as 3 to the power of 28 plus 3 to the 17, divided by 3 to the 14, 2 times 7, plus 3 to the 25. I'm now going to factorise the top and the bottom by pulling out 3 to the highest power that I can. And that's 3 to the 17 on the top, and 3 to the 14 on the bottom. So we get... 3 to the 17 multiplied by 3 to the 11 plus 1 divided by 3 to the 14 multiplied by 1 plus 3 to the 11. If you're wondering how I got 3 to the 11 here, it's because when I pull 3 to the 17 out of 3 to the 28, I deduct the powers. That's in accordance with rule number 3. So on the top, 17 plus 11 gave us our 28, and 14 plus 11 gives us our 25. Now you should see that this has worked out really nicely, because in the brackets we have 3 to the 11 plus 1 and 1 plus 3 to the 11, which are identical, so they cancel out. So we're left with 3 to the 17 divided by 3 to the power of 14. And in accordance with rule number 2, when the bases are the same and the powers are different, then we just have the same number raised to the difference between the powers. So this becomes 3 to the power of 17 less 14 which is 3 to the power of 3. Now remember, at the beginning, I cubed both sides of the equation. Therefore, it's y cubed that equals 3 to the power of 3. Therefore, if I take the cube root of both sides, I get that y equals 3. And since y equals the term that we wanted to evaluate, 3 is the answer. And that's it for this video. No surprises there. It all worked out rather well. And so I hope you got it. OK, that's it. See you in the next one. Bye.